65 acre plot, it was before some certain date. And I went and bought one of those five acre plots. Would this apply to me then? If it was a if it was a non-conforming five-acre lot, so to speak, in other words, if the five-acre lot was created prior to April of 2009, then it's then it's recognized as a legitimate lot. So uh, you wouldn't have to do anything if you bought that lot, other than just build your house on it. Unless you unless it fronted on the county road, you might have to get a driveway from it. What about after that date? After that date, then a subdivision is defined as 10 acres or more. So that's the change primarily of the two terms. Have, have there been, as of yet, have there been any concerns from either that you all know from the county or what have you that people are concerned that, say, a big port company or what have you is going to come in and do something terrible to this area or, or, or any of these prospects even? I mean, was there a, was there a reasoning why or is this just a preventive measure? The largest scale activity in the watershed probably is when somebody, a timber company, goes and timbers a piece of ground. Okay, one, of the, one of the big unknown questions is, is uh, the value of, of you know, shale oil extraction, and that's, that's an unknown, but it's certainly a possibility. Yes. There, are, there are a lot of, not a lot, there are some new people here, you're talking about SET and all that, could you just describe what the SET is for a moment? <laughs> The SET is a, a piece of software, it's, a, 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 it's printed out on an Excel spreadsheet, it's on our website, uh, an example of it, you can, uh, if you knew what you were looking for, or you can figure it out, you can possibly can figure it out, it's, a, it's, on the, uh, it's on the county planning website, you can click on the link and it opens it up. Basically it's a piece of software that, uh, that takes a variety of criteria into consideration when you take a piece of ground. It kind of gives you a view of what is this, what's on this ground now, how much of it's timbered, whatever. You propose a development on there, so many square feet, of rooftop, whether it's a commercial development or single family re re residential development. You, it, it, it takes all kinds of criteria into consideration, the size of the piece of ground, the slope of the piece of ground, the, uh, <coughs> the impervious surface, like how much road would you build, how much rooftop would you have, how much driveway surface would you have paid. Uh, those sorts of things, and you you factor in all that criteria, and what happens is uh, how much how much of the land would be undisturbed, for example, in forest and mature forest. So you put all that data in there, how much you would, and then it's going to tell you out the other end what your runoff coefficients would be, meaning phosphorus, total organic compounds, suspended solids, which are the three things that we're trying to regulate for in the site evaluation tool. What runs off into the lake. That's what it amounts to. And so when you when you have a proposed development, you put that information in there, it's going to tell you basically whether it's a yay or nay on, based on this practice. And then you can redesign it. So well, I'll leave more trees or I'll cut more trees or whatever you want to do. It gives you the flexibility as a design, as a design um, consultant, so to speak, or a design professional. You would probably use, like I mentioned at the meeting today, more than like an engineer could do it, a surveyor could do it. And, and maybe even a, a landscape architect. I like to say that because, like I said, we have one on two in our office, too. Yes. Yes. Would you mind revealing uh, the developers that are installing the advanced septic system in Maumelle? There's not any that I know. I mean, there's not been a development. The only development we've had, <coughs> excuse me, uh, since we've had the regulations in effect is one that's currently on the docket. In those, the proposal, that particular proposal, as far as I know, well, we have not actually seen what their septic treatment system is. That's a part of what they're supposed to be getting to us is how they're going to treat it. I think they're going to treat it individually because they're five acre tracks. So, in other words, it, it, it'll be some sort of septic system on site for each lot rather than a, 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 a system wide uh, uh, treatment plant, so to speak. So they have not given us that information, so I can't tell you exactly. I'm, I'm guessing, based on my conversations with them, it's going to be some sort of traditional septic system and field line. Can I just do a point of clarification? She said advanced septic system in Monell. Did you 
actually mean the city of Maumelle? Yes. Oh. And you answered for the county, didn't you? Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what they're doing in Maumelle. I am involved in the, in the, 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 the wetlands area outside of the system, but it's nothing to do with the Pacific Center. No, no, Maumelle, the city, the incorporated city is on the other side of the river from us.